Ah, good evening, everybody. How are you all doing tonight? See a lot of usual faces. Good evening, Temetrus over on Twitch. Yeah, hello. Everybody's discussing temperatures. It's actually a, a bit. Uh, it's it's getting a little cold here in Denmark, which is why I've I've got out one of my um, down to with astronomy jackets from down to store dot com. Awesome. <laughs> nice haircut, thank you. That's the same as always. <laughs> a bit uh, a bit wild, a bit untamed, but yeah, it works. So I'm just gonna get myself some water. And of course, tonight, since I am going to be running some missions for Terex tonight, um, that is the plan at least. So there can be only one mock, and that is of course the camera focus. Thank you, Terra X Astro Corp mock. Gonna try to see if I can spin this around without spilling water all over my keyboard. Evening, everybody. <clears throat> Oh, okay. I'm testing out a new bot to see how it works with the uh, um, with notifications. It's a bit aggressive. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can tune it somehow because it's it's spamming a bit more than uh, than I like. I think. Um... <laughs> Dude, who's this tag? I need this cop. Well, that actually will be a very nice um, segue into the first thing we need to do tonight, and that is set a light goal. Because, of course, as always, we're going to set a light goal. If we reach that goal, I'm going to set up a discount code on the um, uh, on the Down to the Astronomy store. We can find that at d2astore.com. Oh yeah, I should also go to the, the... Okay, I didn't manage to watch the full stream. I, I watched the start of it and it seemed like they were just reading up the patch note for uh, for update 7 tomorrow. Um, So I thought, okay, fair enough. If uh, I can I can read the patch notes myself, don't need, the, need to have them read to me. So uh, so that's fine. Um, But I didn't manage to catch the end of the live stream. Okay, people already suggesting light goals. So I got 280, 270 with the amount of people who are here. People are still coming in. I could see in the little counter. But I think that's uh, that's ambitious. We had a suggestion for 144 over on um, uh, over on Twitch. What are we doing? To, uh, what are we doing today? We're going to be running missions for Terra X. So what we've got to run through what that what Terra X is for like people who don't know. Um, oh, we're up to 27 likes. That's okay. Anyway, um, should we go like 150? We will have flight tech suggesting 150. I think 150 is doable today. Um, I think let's try that. Let's see if we can reach 150. That should definitely be uh, that should definitely be doable. So, if we reach that like goal of 150 likes, we're gonna set up a. Uh, I'm gonna set up a discount code on the merch store, so you guys get 10% off anything. If you're interested in getting yourself, for instance, a Terra X mark, or you want to have like a little jacket like the one I have on here, maybe. Lovely little jacket. Okay, so let's just quickly, quickly jump in game and let's talk about what Terra X is. Terra X is actually two things. Um, Terra X is both an in-game faction, as you can see here. If you go to uh, uh, the system win right now, there we are. Terra X Astro Corp. Currently, we're at thirty-three percent influence in the system win right now. So that means we are a BTS faction. Um. But what it is also is, of course, a squadron, as you can see here. Currently, we are 267 members. I haven't checked recently if there are any open applications. No open applications that haven't been handled. So we also have a squadron in game. And what Terra X does is we try to influence the BTS in our area. And that is done through daily, basic daily missions or daily orders. Um, and um, I'm gonna go through how how that works here in uh, in a second. Um, but basically, uh, our in-game faction and we meddle around with BTS. If you're interested in trying to, uh, to, if you're not familiar with BTS, you don't have to be knowledgeable about that. You can either learn it if you're interested in that, or if you don't really care for it and you just want to 
do some, some missions and have some fun, then you can just come by and run daily missions. And uh, again, if you want to learn BGS, if you want to dive into the mechanics, which is super complicated and probably one of the, there's a lot of secrets uh, with BGS because factions, I mean, there are a lot of stuff that are publicly known, but there's also a lot of knowledge that factions will keep to themselves because they don't want the other factions to have the same advantages as you do. And every faction will have their own tactics. Um, so even though it's not strictly PvP, where you fight against each other, we try to, as much as we can, stay clear of other player factions, since we don't want to meddle with other factions, uh, at least as little as, as absolutely possible. We are, of course, uh, competing for space, and that's why you want to keep, uh, keep that information close. Um, but basically... Again, you can apply in game, but if you want to have the daily missions, you're going to have to jump over on uh, on Discord, where we have the faction news channel. And in here, you can see Pestrol, who is our faction planner, and he will every day post an update on what is the daily orders of the day. We can see here the orders of the day is that they stay in stand in place. So that means that we are going to be doing the same missions yesterday. So Pestrol, he keeps an eye on our systems, and he makes the day-to-day -day planning, where do we need to work, what do we need to do, and why and then he posts these messages in here and then people can go in and they can say okay top of the list today is cd33 where we need to run out of bounties or missions for terra x if you feel like uh, shooting people a little bit more you can also go and win conflict zones um for cartog purple in baris or you can go here the other uh, like the four different places you can go um, and you could do one of these things. So depending on what you feel like that day, if you want to help out the faction, you want to run conflict zones, then there are these two systems here you can do it. If you just want to run some missions, we can do that here. So, plenty of stuff to do. And of course, if you are joining, um, when you join the server, or if you are, have been in the server for a while and you want to have the, uh, the Terra X um, information when it comes, when it's posted, you could go in here to the welcome start here. And there's a little down with astronomy symbol here. Clicking that symbol there. Boom. There you go. You will now get Terra X notifications. Um, so that means if you're interested in, in helping out the faction, go in, click that little icon, and then you will get a notification when new, mis uh, when new missions comes out or new daily orders comes out. And there's also channels down there in the Terra X area where you can discuss BGS and that kind of stuff. So that's the plan for today. We're going to be doing our part and um, we're going to be running some missions. I have handedly, actually, I prepared for the stream for once. <laughs> so, I've already jumped us to the system we need to be in. We are in, as you can see here, we are in the CD35 system. And to be even more prepared, I've also jumped my carrier in here so that I have all my ships available because that's one of the things with BGS. You never really know what, what you're going to be thrown into. Um, is Terra X in Odyssey or Horizon? So, Terra X is both in odyssey horizon it's um as least as a faction yes as a faction i think they're cross-platform so that means you can work for the faction um yes that that's that's a good point Donald. i'll mention that in a second um yeah both odyssey and uh, um and horizon but i believe that factions are cross-play so that means you can also work for the faction on other um uh, on other platforms if you're playing console but we do not have a squadron on the other platforms that means you can't join a squadron but you can still work for the faction and you don't have to be part of the squadron for your influence to uh, to, uh, to to work so squadron is pc only but working for the faction you can do on all platforms all game modes all odyssey horizon it doesn't matter if you can boot up elite you can work for terra x um, and as Dongle already mentioned, of course, when you sign up, when you start up, the first thing you need to do to get access to the main part of the server is you need to choose whether you're playing Elite Dangerous on PC, PlayStation, or Xbox, or if you're there for Star Citizen, you can since sign up. Or if you're playing on multiple, you can click as many of them as you want. You can sign up for the different roles. All this does is it helps to know, it helps figure out if you want to play with some someone and you can then see what platform they're on. So you don't have to necessarily go in and um and ask every time and you just you get around a lot of that confusion where people try to wing up and then they figure out that they one is on pc and one is on xbox or whatever um so we, we sign up by platform but there's you get access to the same areas with the three different roles same with star citizen okay
So let's go, let's do it. Um, we could of course both do on foot, but we could also do ship missions. And it's been a while since I've been flying ship missions. So I figure, let's go in and see what kind of ship missions are available today. We're going to filter by uh, Terra X up here. So that we only see Terra X missions. And we're going to go for influence missions, since that's what we're interested in. So we have some supply, go and find stuff. Um, very small amounts of stuff. But there's a lot of influence to gain here. Four pluses. There's also some wet works. Wet works are often illegal, or they are illegal. Mm. They don't tell us the details now. They will tell us when we get there. Bring back brother Jack. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you miss brother Jack, don't you? Um, I don't really want to do wet works because even though we have actually one here with five pluses on influence, and thanks a lot for the uh, for the super chat, uh, by the way. Um, but I don't really feel like doing wet works since it is a legal contract. Um, there is a takedown, which is legal, at, which is legal because you take you're taking down a um, an illegal pirate. Yeah, exactly. Wet work is illegal, but the takedown known pirate, that is legal combat. Uh, even though there's no reputation options here. Let's just go and see what the on foot side of, uh, of the mission board has to offer. Maybe there's something out there that's a little bit more interesting. Where we could actually get some decent pluses. That's one of the points. I mean, we could go and collect bounties and let's just hand them in here. Collect bounties for, for uh, Terex and another system and then hand them in on this system here to gain influence. But I think it would be more fun to run some, uh, some missions. But that's the, one, that's the reason why I pulled my carry in, because you never really know what, uh, what you're going to be thrown into here. Because, yeah, sometimes you can end up doing combat. Other times there are no combat missions. Once again, let's filter here. Let's see what they have for offer. And again, look at influence. So we have some three pluses where we just need to go to settlements in a nearby boat in the same system. Remove the power regulator. We have a lot over here in the HR system that has a decent influence. And it's like we have three missions to collect stuff in that settle in that system. We also have a number of combat on foot combat missions here. Also in the same system. But two of these are the same. Hold on, these are on the same. What do you guys think? Should we do a bit of um, bit of on foot combat for three pluses each? That should be okay. I think we can do those relatively quick, and those are in the same systems here as well. I think that's what we're gonna do. What does Terex actually give you? It doesn't give you anything. You don't get any like benefits in game the only thing you get is that we work towards it and we get our name on a station and then we have control of systems and then we expand into new systems and then we take control of that system and we expand we take control you don't get any uh, credits apart from what you get from the missions you don't get any extra things like extra special things use the apex bonus equals loot yeah we could use the apex around Give that shotgun. Yeah, you know what? We should do that. Let's go out and play around with the shotgun. Um, and then do some of these missions. They look fun, don't they? Let's take uh, that one. And then another settlement defense. I guess it doesn't really matter which one we take here. What else do we have in the same system? We have some collection missions. Let's just do that while we are at it anyway. Okay, we now have three in that system. 
We could either fly there ourselves. The or we can do the lazy approach. Welcome to Apex Interstellar. Where would you like to go? I'd like to book a shuttle. Yeah, you can pick missions with uh, with material reward, but in this case, we're looking for um, we're looking for influence points. So that's why I'm picking missions with influence. What? K. Ross is leaving FDEF? No. Really? That's that's sad. Yeah, she's moving on. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is big. Well, best of luck to Doctor K. Ross, and uh... okay, okay. I know I didn't. Uh, I haven't seen that uh, that tweet. That is sad. Perfect. She will be I missed. Have a good trip. Yeah, so she has, she has a, she's probably given in her, her one month notice. Oh. That's very sad news indeed. Makes me wonder what on earth is going on. Because this whole this whole thing, this whole elite thing, their whole Stella Forge and all that stuff seemed to really have been her pet project. Bloom is on. Yeah, I know. Bloom is on. And no, we're not going to be using the Iron Man suit. Um, I'm going to be using my plasma build today. Right, now we're stuck at a queue. So, what are we waiting for this time? No one else in here. Oh, there we go. Little Sidewinder. as a taxi ship, I, I would definitely approve of that. Yes, Apex is wonderful for third person camera. Uh, I didn't even check what the first system we were docking. We have... We'll see when we arrive what our first mission is. So we know what suit to bring. I haven't upgraded my executioner fully. There's a lot of credits sloshing around the system. Someone at the top's getting things right for once. So we are going to be a Holam Industrial Factory. So that is take out the scavengers. Oh, star says the code's still up. Oops. Let's remove that. There we go. Yeah, little side of the block the whole entrance. Like, ah, come on. <laughs> and then we have another research facility where we need to take out more scavengers. And then finally we need to go and find ourselves some um, inside data banks. Fine. 
That's right, Slash. I haven't. I did see your your message, Uncle. I haven't posted about it in uh, yet. I should. But it's also it's it's kind of a weird point right now. I think it's a really really weird point that they are making a free fly event just before server wipe. I could see if they made it just after a server wipe, where everybody there could really be a big intensive for people to say, "Hey, you can get in now. Everybody is wiped anyway, and you can try it." Uh, try out the game uh, because after a server wipe is probably the best time to start um, as you're going to have the longest period possible before they eventually have to wipe it again but I hope fingers crossed that we're going to see a similar length period it's been a year and a half since the last wipe so That is true, Dongle, that lots of people are gonna, like, be very willing to hand out credits. <laughs> yeah, the, I'm really sad, especially because of the 890 jump that's gonna take forever to grind up again. We're gonna have to do some big mining fleets to get that 890 jump back. Okay, so this is going to be interesting because in the past when I've done these here the settlement type missions, I've always done it primarily with the sniper. But this time around, it's going to be um, this time it's going to be shotgun. It has no kind of silence on it, so it's going to be very. Um, this is going to be a very high profile engagement. <laughs> The DJ Club can throw some uh, some uh, AUC. I was thinking instead of just taking straight up in-game donations, thinking maybe just like do some mining events or something. Um, maybe see if we can get our hands on uh, um, on the Arco Mall again. Use that as a mining platform for for events. I don't know. Here we have that little base. It's a shame they didn't build it a little bit higher over of that rim there of the crater. I don't think we're gonna be able to get that much of a view down in the crater from uh, from the base. Where is it? There. Because I think that crater rim there is gonna be more look like mountains gonna obscure the whole crater. Well, at least it's daylight. Have a nice day. Okay, let's go. Gonna be a lot more high profile. Shield offline. Oh, we got a sniper and two grenades here. Shields offline. Let's just run away, away from that sniper. Wait for it to come back. <laughs> uh, 
That was relatively easy. Loot the place. Nah, I don't want to break in. We're going to be focusing. Even though we could loot it, we could... Um, I want to focus on completing missions a little bit faster today. Because we are trying to get as much influence as we can for the faction. So this one is, I believe, the um, the one where we have to do some uh, cargo delivery or cargo uh, retrieval thing. Uh, yeah. So this one should be just go out, find a container, and then pick it up. How's the NPC skill level like in Odyssey? Um... I mean, they are okay. I mean, they will... They won't use cover as much. What they will do is they will find whatever they can shoot at, and then they will shoot it. Um, and if they take damage, then they will try to get, uh, like, uh, run sideways. Um, but they won't always go for cover. But they will run sideways, making them a little harder to hit until they uh, until they find a place where they can uh, can shoot from again. Okay, so they are changing them so they shoot more. But one thing they're gonna do, especially in conflict zones, is yeah, they will try to flank sometimes. They will spread out. Um Oh, I think we got ourselves a buck here. You hear the walking sounds? Is the true update seven is delayed until October? No. Update 7 is tomorrow. So there's no delays until October. Okay. Let's try to do that again. Oh, we had the shuttle. Uh, yeah, it's a stunger also posted. It's it's ten UTC. So, for most people in uh, in Europe, that would be uh, I don't know. That's morning, midday ish. But. For most of the people in the US, when you wake up tomorrow, it will already have been deployed. Or if you guys are at work, then when you come home from work tomorrow, it will probably be, be there and ready. Yeah, okay, just to, just to clarify, there's no server wipe in Elite. The server wipe is in Star Citizen. Elite is not gonna get a server wipe. Okay, next little move here. So is that thing gonna do a loop of shame? Ah, okay. 
I thought he would. <laughs> well, we are in the, in the shuttle right here. I just want to remind you that we have a, uh, a like goal today at 150 likes. That means if we get this live stream up to 150 likes, I will set up a discount code on the merch store, which you can find at d2astore.com. Get yourself like a jacket, like the one I have, uh, everything's mirrored, like the one I have on here, or you can get yourself the official Terra X AstroCorp mug. I haven't even spotted the base yet. Is it in the crater? Oh yeah, it is. Oh, there it is. I'm planning on doing live stream for update 7? Yes. Um, I definitely will. Is update seven? I didn't manage to catch the whole uh, whole patch. Is update seven where we get the engineers in Colonia as well? I'm gonna be busy in update seven. Yeah. Okay. So. Of the things I need to do in after update 7 is I need to begin theory, I need to test the um, uh, the planet side combat ship that we talked about last week or last week, the week before that, last week I was sick but the week before that we theory crafted some, uh, some ships, we're gonna begin working on that I'm gonna begin working on unlocking engineers in Colonia on my Colonia alt um, what was the last thing? oh yeah, and I also want to start a on foot only character where we don't, don't fly in spaceships, we just use the shuttles. Um, just to see how far we can get. Oh, okay, I'm in my combat suit now, that might have been a bad idea. Yeah, they, the pads are not out yet, they did read up some of it. Fetch an item in a container, 10 in the settlement grounds. Okay, we got the code, you can't see it from my face, let me move my face here. Whoop. So you can see up there in the corner, we need to fetch it from container 10. Um, no, I don't know where container 10 is, but there's a terminal over here. It's probably going to be able to tell me. There it is. I would never have found that on the back side of the command building. It's a very pretty location. Is Odyssey okay ish now? Absolutely. They still have a little bit of a way to go, I think, performance wise, but it's definitely getting there. No, 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 they did say there was on the, on the, um, on the settlement ground. So we need to type in the code. Two, seven, seven, eight. Mission status updated. Okay, we got that. Apex shuttle, local booking. Where are we going to next? We're going to that little moon there. Where there are more scavengers that needs to be shotgunned through the face. <laughs> oh, clear. 
Oh, okay, I thought he wanted me to be... Scan me or something. A shuttle is moving to your location. That's my shuttle. Perfect timing. Yes, that's a good one. Let's do that on the next uh, little shuttle trip. Oh, look at that. Oh, oops. <laughs> I just, by reflex, when I see the planet, I hit F and scroll wheel. <laughs> for, for the star citizen people, you will know why. Because I wanted to zoom in on the planet to get a better look at it. Look at that. two weeks on the 1st of October um, I'm gonna start a new carrier trips carrier trip I've done these before uh, out to Colonia Dunk Laws hosted some over the uh, over the summer they are usually a ton of fun you wouldn't imagine how fun it is just to take a bunch of people go on a fleet carrier and just go out into the black and um, we're heading out into a 45g planet 45g landable planet I should probably say um, so that's gonna be fun. It's not that far out, you can't fly there yourself, but of course you fly there yourself and you crash, well, it's another 6,000 light years. Um, so, therefore I'm making a carrier trip out there. That means I'm gonna put my carrier in LP after the live stream probably. Um, and then on the 1st of uh, October, we're gonna fly it out there then I'm gonna stay in the system over the weekend, and then on Sunday evening I'm gonna fly it back again. Um, all the information is on Discord. Let me see if I can uh, if I can find it here. If you see when you join Discord, you can see here there is a section here called uh, DJ North Star Event. You can see the flight plan by default. If you go in here, you can see departure times um, and return trip times, uh, all that stuff. That's a full flight plan here if you want to follow along. Also because it's nice when people fall off the carrier, because people will fall off the carrier. So people know where the next system is. Um, and if you click the little the little goose, little honk icon, then you get access to the trip talk and the trip gallery where you can sit and you can discuss and you can talk with the other passengers. And we're going to do all the planning in there. But that is... that is the plan. So... What is that? Oh, hold on. Interesting. But that's gonna happen in about two weeks. Um, what do we have here? Uh, okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna read that afterwards. It would PM me a message, but it was too small, like a screenshot or something, to check that afterwards. Can you ship ships and modules to a carrier? Uh, to retain multiple ships? Yes. Yes, you can. So you can have, I think guests can have up to, is it 20 ships? 10? 20? I think it's 20 ships per guest. Is it 10 ships? I can't remember. You can have. Uh, I have the ava I have this the uh, garage available, so you can take ships or you can ship transfer ships onto the carrier, allowing you to take multiple ships there. There is no limit to the number of ships I can carry, and the number of commanders I can carry. So you are not gonna be. You don't have to rush on there to get your ships on there. There is unlimited space. Um, when we did the Colonia trip about what is about a year ago now, I think. Uh, we were, when we departed, I asked FDEF if they could check how many people were docked. We were 1,100 commanders docked on the d North Northstar. How many ships people brought, I don't know, but if, um, 
no, no, only 1100, I think, on the North Star. Um, at least on the, on the colonial trip. We were 1100 there. But many people brought multiple ships, so that means we were probably looking at a couple of thousand ships on both the North Star at that point in time. Um, so yes, you can, uh, there is definitely room for you. And again, remember, fleet carriers are cross-platform. That means you can join regardless of whether you are on Xbox, PlayStation, um, or PC. Then you can join the carrier and you can take the trip out there. Dongalore will be live streaming the trip. I'll be uh, doing the driving and Dongalore will take care of the in-flight entertainment on the, on the trip out there. So you can, uh, even if you're not at home doing the trip, you can just tune into the live stream and you can follow the carrier. It's basically like the little cameras, you know, they have in the plane where you can sit and follow along on the map where the uh, where the plane is. Same thing, Dongalore is going to be live streaming that. Uh, so you can even follow along even if you're not uh, home doing the trips uh, out there and back. So you can sit and you can can look at the at the live stream. It's super fun. People always having all kinds of shenanigans. Remember, there's like a 15 minute uh, downtime between each. And everybody goes out and try to explore the systems and get back in time and then people fall off or people blow their ships up because of reasons. <laughs> it's always a ton of fun. So, even if you don't care about the uh, the planet out there, uh, the 45T planet, just to go out there for the lunch. Um, I mean, personally, I think the trips out there and back is probably the most fun part of the, uh, of the event. <laughs> the planet is just like, we need a destination. Now, this one is in the dark. I believe this one is on fire. You can see all the light bleeding through the walls. All that light, the orange light there, I think that's buildings on fire. I was just trying to see if I could spot any of the... Uh, any of the NPCs, but it seems they figured out that walking around with your flashlights on is not a great way to do it. But we don't need flashlights. Because we have a shotgun. Yeah, but we have a shotgun. And that should be all we need, because we also have a night mission. There should be 10 NPCs here somewhere. Oh, see, I see flashlight down there. Yeah, that's one. It's also one just down there. Hold on. You know what? <laughs> oh. See both flashlights over here. It's also walking one right down here. We better make some noise because if we don't, we have to go and fight everybody. Somebody has to have heard that. Where's the last guy? Oh, there he is. There we go. It is faster with the shotgun, because otherwise we have to go and fight everybody on our own. But when we begin to make noise, they have a tendency to come and find us.
Is that a fully upgraded shotgun? Yes, it is. Okay, that should conclude that little cluster of missions. Let's head back. Shuttle request sent. Yeah, okay, okay, just do a little bit more about the carrier trip. There's still some discussion going on. Again, not only is it um, is it all platforms, it's also all game modes. You can also play in Horizon. You can join the carrier trip in Odyssey and Horizon. You can do it from solo. You can do it private group. You can do it open. PC, console, oh, yeah. Xbox, doesn't matter. And you can even swap between them at will. So you can, in the middle of the trip, if you suddenly feel like, you know what, I want to go and play in open, or I want to go and play in a private group, or I want to swap over for solo for a little bit. You can do that. In the middle of the trip, doesn't matter. Or you can even be offline, you don't have to be online. You can just... I'm gonna park the carrier here after the live stream over an LP. So at some point in the next two weeks, you just need to dock there, and then you just need to be sure that you are on... that you are not online, that you are on the ship when we leave you don't have to be online you just have to be docked on the fleet carrier when we leave you can be offline you can be asleep if you want to um your computer can be off doesn't matter if you're docked i'll take you there glad to have you on board It's exactly Odyssey and Horizon as well as the post on Twitch. So there is really no no reason not to join. Everybody can join regardless what game mode. We have a we have a, a private group um, that we use for these kind of trips called MP underscore Astro. You can go in and you can uh, can apply to join the group. And it just gives us a nice place where we can all meet up uh, and fly together if you want to. I think it's funny. I think the was the colonial trip was it was during lockdown. I remember, and you really got that feeling because everybody was in the chat, everybody was sitting and talking, and people would put the little honk icons in chat whenever the carrier was jumping. You really got that, uh, you know, school trip vibe where everybody's just like on a trip together. It actually felt like you were going on on like a small vacation. Um, and I think especially doing lockdown, that was uh, that was quite amazing you could do that in the computer game. So, we're gonna go in and then we're gonna see what else they have uh, in store for us. Maybe go up and check the ship-based missions again, see if there's anything interesting there. We need a vaccine passport. Nope, no vaccine passports needed. <laughs> funny part was also because people were already people were always going to planets and so you know, we'll trying to go down and like 
explore the local system we were in before the Carrier League, but you only have 15 minutes or 12 minutes, I think, uh, between lockdowns. So there will always be someone who would fall off the carrier. They would come back and they would see the, the landing pads locked down and then they're sitting there and they can't dock because the landing pads have gone into lockdown. That's why I post the flight plan. So you could always go into the flight plans. Then people have to race the carrier where they have to basically try to get to the next system before the carrier jumps again. So they can uh, they can catch up to the carrier basically fly manually to the next system dock at the carrier before we leave to the to the next system basically racing the carrier so it is highly recommended that whatever ship if you undock during the trip out there or back do it in a ship with a decent jump range and a fuel scoop because uh we're not gonna turn around we might wait a few minutes for you if you are just a few minutes late at a jump but i can't once the jump is locked in i can't cancel it but if people are running uh, falling behind we might stop a few minutes and usually put time in the uh, in the flight plan for um, for that but we're not gonna turn around and jump back for you Yes, we are doing BGS today. I've just uh, collected or uh, done my first three missions of the day. Should give us uh, nine influence points. So I'm gonna go and hand those in for influence. Says I got, but yes, we also have the D the D train North Star mock. Maybe I should like put that on the. Uh... I need someone with good aim to run a job for me. Is that you? We get a little little discount for the people on the trip for uh, for that mock. So we're gonna hand this in for influence. It's only three influence points for these missions, but they were pretty quick to do. Oh, damn it! That was reputation. I'm an idiot. Because... That was stupid. Okay, let's just see what kind of missions are, are available here now for Terex. We need to pick something up from a hidden cache. More collection missions. We have a bunch more of these settlement raids. Should we go and see what kind of uh, ship-based missions is available? I kind of want to get, if we can get a bunch of these uh, take down the pirate missions, I kind of miss those. I've been doing those before. They are usually a ton of fun. But I just want to be able to have more than just one. Well, mining missions. Discrete power failure required. Is this an on foot mission? Hmm. None of these seem super interesting. 
Right, supply needed, missions always. Yeah. No, no, deliver. This is a delivery mission. They are not, they don't need it. They need to get rid of it. So they, they have, they have five, five and a half thousand, thousand metric tons of bio waste they need to get rid of. <laughs> it's basically, please empty the station septic tank. <laughs> All right. Nothing there that was super interesting. Let's go down and pick up some more on foot missions. Do I have videos unlocking on food engineers? Some of them, yes. Not all of them. And which guns are the best? Uh, I actually posted a video on exactly why I think the shotgun is the best weapon. Uh, very, very recently. I think earlier this week. Yes. Saturday? Saturday, I think Saturday. I need someone with good aim to run a job for me. Is that you? You're gonna make this system a lot safer if you do this. Hold on, where's the Terex representative in system? It's not a good situation. Plenty of people would jump in Just gonna see what they have. It's one of those get in, get the oh. job done, and get out. Situations. Download tactical plans from a data port. That sounds illegal. Right, yes, the details. Download tactical plans, return to the mission. How much does it pay? Three influence pluses for the legal mission? Nah. Still open if you change your mind. Yeah, we can go do some bounties if we want to do that. I just want to see if there's a few more on foot missions. If there's nothing interesting, let's just go and collect some bounties elsewhere. So we have a few of these collection missions, they're not super interesting. We have a bunch of these clear the settlement missions. And they're spread out across two different bases and two different systems. Three different ones if we take this one as well. But how are they doing for influence? Yeah, we have one per settlement that actually gives influence, but they are three pluses. Hmm. What do you guys think? Should we go and collect some bounties and then just hand those in? Uncle Lord says yes. Okay. There will also be a great opportunity to uh, to actually make Howard work for his pay. I'm just going to make one last check here. Just in case the mission board has refreshed. It helps, but there's still nothing of interest. I mean, those two, two red works are both five influence points, but... Let's go and uh, see if we can wake up Howard. <laughs> I do remember me blowing how no that never happened. I would never do such a thing. 
Yes, when Howard tried to, uh, was I was flying around with the fighter and Howard was denying me dock, docking access. Howard is a bit of a troll. <laughs> Dutchy Solutions says, I have a crew man. Timothy, yet I keep calling him Howard. <laughs> God, I love this book. Wait, what? That's not my landing pad? Oh, that is not my landing pad. Oops. Oh, uh, let's see. Not the Lieutenant Diamond Cucumber. Maybe? There we go. <clears throat> Howard? There you go. It's time for you to go and work. Do we actually have some fighters on board? We have fighters on board. So I'm just going to see, I was just checking if we have any systems on the... Okay, we have no other systems where we're working directly, so we're just going to go and do it in, uh, in LP, I guess. Have I really moved all my ships? Oh, there it is. I usually have a bookmark on LP. Did I complete any progress at the hidden community goal? Yeah, I ferried like 1,500 tons or something of medicine. Medicine. Well, you target acquired. <clears throat> yeah, good luck with that. Who are you? What are you flying? Oh, let me see. Oh, that's. Wait, what? That was not the guy who were, uh, who were after us, was it? Alright, let's drop out and see what he's up to. At least, at least an Aconda, if nothing else, he's, he's not warded though, that's a bit weird. It says high value target acquired. Oh, he is warded. Okay. Howard. Go, Howard. 
overpowered. Kill him. Shoot him, Howard. Oh, those new effects. There's my multi cannons. There's my multi cannons. There we go. Get him, Howard. Get him. Get him. That other condo is not a happy condo anymore. I love those dudes' explosions. You can see here, even though it did say that it belonged to my faction, it was wanted, and that means it is also wanted by my faction. So it's a, it's like a member of my own faction that is wanted by my own faction. So by killing it, I still collect bounties, but it was such a small bounty because I think he only got the bounty for shooting at me. Come on, Howard. There we go. That's better. Yeah, it was because they only got a bounty for shooting at me. I don't think he had a bounty beforehand. Oh, right. Come on, frameshift drive. Anyway, where were we at? By the way, regarding that hidden community goal, whenever these things pop up, I usually go and do a little bit of progress because it seems that the message was only... I think the message was only given to people who took part in the last part of it. So, like, there's some story thing going on where if... If if you worked for Salvation before, they, they will also contact you in the future. But if you if they keep sending you messages and you just don't reply and don't do anything, they're not going to be asking you to, uh, to work for them in the future. So I think that's why, and that's why I also decided to go and do a few uh, of the runs. Also because I wanted to see if there were any, if there were any significant uh, money to be made from uh, from holding the medicine. I missed the Patreon notification. That is no good. Let me just try to not crash into the ring here and actually get in where we're supposed to. Um, let me see here. Indeed, I did. Sebastian, thanks a lot for becoming a Patreon. Sorry I missed the notification before. But that's awesome. Welcome on board. Scan detected. No, no, this is nothing to do with salvation. Okay, Howard. 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 No, oh, hold on. Okay, let's see what we can find. Any ships of any... Any decent size. Yep. Oh no, he's attacking the mining ships. Howard, protect the mining ships. Oh, probably put some pips to weapons.
I love the new percentages on the, on the shield. Let's try to use the shield zone banks. Just a little bit. Ah! I like thought we could just give him a little bit of a ram. Look at that. Howard is actually doing some work here today. Go, Howard, go! Chieftain. Chieftain is wounded. into a turning fight here. Ah, oh, he's dropping his cargo now. We got ourselves another hostile. Asp Exploder. You just hear that, that engine sound, the Asp is so distinct. No, no more Asp Exploder. It's a gunship. Most likely clean, I would guess. He's shooting at something, so... Um... Oh, he is hostile. Okay. Let's go. Doing good, Howard. Okay. Understood. Sending you uh, ahead, Howard. You should be faster than, uh, than me, at least. Maybe not. Jesus, Howard. I'm outrunning you in a fighter, in a corvette, and you're not supposed to be the fighter. Move my kips around. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do him, take him out with big gun mode. Just going to wait for the shaft to go. Go away. And a little tap. There you go. Take a new fighter, Howard. All the darkness from your pain. Style here. Small Viper. Oi. He's fast. Oh, we hit the light goal. Okay, hold on. Let's get this guy down. And uh, while we do that, give me suggestions for what should we put as the light. Oh, sorry, the, um, the discount code today. Fly back towards the center while we we wait for suggestions and chat. BTS fun. No, not yet. Oh, we only at two twenty eight. Okay, sorry, my bad. Sorry, we're too early. We still need to get to one fifty. Just somebody seemed we were we got there already. Um. No, oh, sorry, we are we're not there yet. Have to wait a little bit longer. Ooh, well, uh, Lines of Forster. Courier, really? I read you. Got the target on my scanner. Should be 
fast. Let's see. Thing with fixed weapon mojo. So diamond back exploder as well. Banking. Let's uh, see if we can't power through those. We targeted at six percent. Come on, Howard, get the shields. Good job, Howard. There we go. Oh, We're at a resource extraction site, so it's probably a mining ship. But I have to scan it. Cobra. It, we're really scraping the bottom of the barrel here. I can taste my new bar. Yeah, we're getting there. More enforcers and a viper. Deadly viper. Oh yeah, here we go. Go, Howard. Go. How I need a how I need a faster fighter. I mean. Where is he? Oh, hold on. No, he's attacking the space cow. Howard, protect the space cow. Oh, there's also a crate here. Is that crate? That crate looks like it's also going for the, uh, for the, for the space cow. Okay, Howard, I, do you have this guy? Come on. Ship, but he's mining. And that crate. Is that alliance forces? That should be um, clean. And then we're down to Cobras again. Scanning me. Oh, this is the Cobra. There we go, shields are gone. Two percent. Okay, how are his yours? Come 
Lord Howard. Get him, Howard. 2% hole. Oh. There we go. <laughs> How are we doing with that light goal? Are we getting there? One left. Hold on. Oh, we have all the people now shooting at the at the space cows. That's one less. Last one. There he is. Just gotta get a complete scan to verify. <laughs> go, Howard. Go. Okay. Howard strikes back is suggested. Uh, Howard returns. <laughs> We need to find a code. We have to, I haven't set up the code yet. We need to get suggestions. We're just gonna kill this little uh, the little eagle here. To get away. Cut him off, Commander. It's going anywhere. Ooh, there's a python here. I'm gonna go and deal with that. Howard Stark. Howard. <laughs> Howard the coward? No, Howard is not a coward. Copy that. Let's take this one down. I will. Uh, I'll try to let Howard fight this uh, this Diamondback solo while uh, while I set up the discount code. So we'll see how good Howard is at fighting a deadly Diamondback exploder. He's actually doing a pretty good job with his shields right now. Stanley Stafford. <laughs> I feel like the code has to be Howard related. Okay, I can I can go with that, Sebastian. Um, Sebastian says if if Howard actually manages to kill this thing. Then we will put the road the Okay, here's the deal. If he manages to kill uh, the ship, the Diamondback, before it hits 2030 in-game time, so that is in three and a half minutes. So if Howard manages to kill this thing within the next three and a half minutes, we're gonna go with Howard rules. If it does not, it will be Howard the Coward. Target shields online. So that is the deal. We heard that, Howard. Target shields offline. I think he can do it. He has three minutes left now. And they're way outside my range for the camera, so we're gonna have to just look at the telemetry here. No pressure, Howard. Nope, nope. Only public shaming if you fail. <laughs> yeah, actually now getting in range here for the camera. There we 
we go. Hey, well done, Howard. And then Howard is back. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Look at that fighter. <laughs> so, okay. You guys can sit here and you can look at Howard. And then I'll set up that discount code for you in the meantime. Where is that? It was Howard Rules. Let me just go in and uh, and get that thing set up here. So we're gonna go to D2A Store. That's not where I have to go. I have to go to the interface, the admin interface. But you can go to D2A Store.com, and if you use the code Howard Rules, in a second, then you will get ten percent off any order and that code is going to be valid until the end of the live stream at the end of the live stream i will take it down and then it will be gone until next time we do a live stream where we reach the light goal so this is going to be the stream discount code and the discount code is going to be howard rules which is going to give you 10 percent off so we go and it's going to be valid until the end of the stream there we go boom boom Discount code is now active. Howard rules. All caps. Gonna be posting that in. Dunkle always way ahead of me, you see. That's his markdown files. But so go to d2astore.com and use the code Howard rules and get 10% off any order. Ooh. In the meantime, we got ourselves some big boats. I like big boats. Oh, he's already being shot at. Oh, are those two are those two elite clippers in a wing? Oh, okay, they're not in the wing. Oh, in a team. Guess it's not called wings anymore. Uh, where's my five? There it is. If I pips right. Grabbing speed. Oh, just missed him. And he got his shield so bang on. Of course he did. Finish him up with a little, a little tap. It's a dangerous one here. over there. Okay, you got it, Howard. Get him. Get him, Howard. Come on, yeah. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> got yourself a python. You know what, Howard? You come back for a second. I okay. think... Uh, I'm just going to scan this. I'm gonna take over. No, hold on, you don't have to come back actually. Wait, what? What are you doing, Howard? Uh switch. Howard? Roger that. I'll take it from here. 
You take the ship. I got this fighter. Okay, right, right, right. We had a wing. Oh, they had a wing. Try not to fly into the lasers. Probably a bad idea. How we got ourselves a what was that assault ship? Who got the shield recharge with this thing? Just try to touch some of the incoming fire here. Nicely job. Nicely done. Hmm. Lots of good stuff there. Um, I can't see a thing here. But I have a feeling we need to go that way. Do I have to send out this conflict zone? Oh, I can't see. I need some better scanners. How are... Give me back the ship. You can I take the... Uh, you can take the fighter for a while. I need to fight something to shoot at. Oh, Fernlands. Need better scanners. Yeah, that will do. Sending you out for him. And then we're gonna take back the fighter from you. You can have the Nolt Star. Not the Nolt Star, sorry. The uh, the cucumber. Copy that. Let's take this one down. Oh! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Howard! Oh, I should have. I want the fighter. That's your fault, Howard. Oh, nice. Boom. That's a pass. Is she wounded? Yes, yeah, she is. Go, Howard. I need those lasers. Get his shields. I got multi cannons here.
Actually, Python most likely ordered. Yeah. You pull acro. Thank you, Howard. Not sure how much the multi cannons do with the shields, but uh, might as well. The hole we can hit. Oh, ouch. <laughs> Losing. No, 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 Donald. That's Howard's fault. He's supposed to pull aggro. I blame Howard. Now. now I have faster weapons, so I can actually do a little bit more. There we go. Well done. Oh. I saw for just a brief second there. I saw a diamond back. There we go. Magazines. So I can't see anything. Our, I need the scanners. Okay, let's head back to the center. Oh, we are at the center. Just have type sevens, but they're mining. Uh, people asking about the ship. This is the cucumber. You're not familiar with the cucumber? You can find it on Commander's Toolbox. Okay, we got a crew here of uh, of a bunch of couriers. thousand for courier I'll take it oops hey, Howard watch your flying Hurt. 
Okay, right, that's one down. Let's go for the next one. Howard, don't shoot me. Howard, you're blocking. Boom, he's gone. Fast. Where's the fast? Expert fast, the wing of two. Let's go. Friend, the Cobra? It's definitely wounded. Neutralized. Viper. I read you. Got the target on my scanner. Target shields. Oh, shields already down. That eagle. Shields back, but I think Howard got that uh, that eagle. Yeah, nicely done. Nice. That's so nice, parking it out there. Look at this. If I move up, oh look at he even stores the weapons. We will always try to sit alongside you. Adder. Oh, you poor little thing. Poor little Adder. Jesus, I'm a bad shot. At least half of this for once. Who asked Exploder? Hey, Marcus. Oh, mining is asked Exploder. Once again, out of targets. So, uh,. what else we have around here out of longer ranges oh we just got a got a cobra coming here just gonna wait to confirm the scan oh, we've got a full little wing here howard where are you storing my weapons all right howard you can fly the fight a little bit i'm gonna take the, i'm gonna take the cucumber for a bit Attack, 
Attacker, attacker. Go, attacker. Go, next target. A puny little eagle. Oh, there's a shieldless eagle. Now there's no more shieldless eagle. Dumpfire missile, okay. No more eagle. Oh. Vultures are fun. Shields and those little things. Feels more like a medium sized shield. But the hull is basically made of wet newspaper. Getting some good bounties, I think. We made 8 million in bounties so far. <laughs> Moon the dude! <laughs> Look at that guy. <laughs> Moon the dude! <laughs> Copy that. Let's take this one down. Uh oh. Well, I missed the rock. Howard, you're on your own. Can't see a thing. Those shields. No, no, don't shield self. There we go, and then get into the hole, and he's almost gone then. There we go. Will you get much more money if you use uh, if you use the killborn scatter? Technically, yes, but it will be for other factions in surrounding systems or maybe in the same system. And since we're doing this for BGS, I'm only interested in the Terra X bounties, so that's why I'm not really bothering bothering much with the uh, with the killborn scanner because. I don't need the bounties for the other factions, I need the bounties for Terra X. Something's flying out there. Gunship. Competent gunship. <laughs> okay. That's gonna be uh, very soon. That's gonna. Oh, he launched the fighter. Hold on. Go, Howard. Go for the fighter. Fighter on fighter. What are you doing? Howard?
Why are you not attacking Howard? Roger. On the way back now. Understood. fire on your target. So you can't send a fighter to attack another fighter. But look at that, the opposite the other Oh hold on. Yeah, so now he's attacking Howard. That is weird. I read you. Got the target on my scanner. Oh well. Let's kill this guy. Target destroyed. Yeah, but not thanks to you. Back towards the center again. Whee. The proximity mines, there's been a oh, dime back scout. Someone is fighting out there, so someone is rewarded. Elite Diamondback Scout. Well, that's good. I read you. Got the target on my scanner. So we can save that poor mining ship. Jesus, they are moving fast. The mining ship got out. Under attack. See if I can. And no more I'm back scout. Paladin. Paladin in a dropship. No cargo waste of time. Let's see about that. Oh, it's just for fun. Okay. You know, just play around with this guy. Uh, there's his drives. Get the shields down. Shields, so they go down. Ah, chaps. Just as I had a good shot at his engines. Them up at 30 percent instead of 50 because they got too much damage in under attack and come on we can power through that chat last few percentages there we go ejected heat sink Still only that mining gunship <clears throat> still linking around. Let's 
Type 7. It's also a mining ship. So peaceful. A good looking ship, isn't it? Check out the mission board. Yeah, maybe we should head back for the missions. Just gonna go down and see what's going on there. Ah, we're almost at 10 million. We needed one more kill before we get to 10 million. Fast. Let's kill the fast. That's pretty decent. Just gonna clear what we have of hostiles in this area, and then uh... he's clean. So that guy is not. Proximity mines everywhere. Just gonna see if that adder is wounded. If he is, we gotta clean him out and then. Then we're going to be heading back to see if there's anything interesting on the mission board. just keep spawning. Ah, he's far away. Okay. You come back, Howard. You see, it's annoying, isn't it, Howard? It's so annoying when people move the ship when you're trying to dock. Oh, he actually managed to lock it in anyway. <laughs> She's safe and sound. Running a diagnostic scan now. Let's uh, let's get back into CD. Let's hand in our bounties and see what else we got. Oh, we're still mass locked.
Oh. That should be a good... I don't know. Ten and a half-ish, maybe? Yeah, 10.7. It's not too bad. What's up, nice bunnies? What are you doing? going here. There we go. I'm really hoping we get some of those pirate missions. They are... I've missed those. They're often quite fun because they often actually pose a little bit of a challenge. There. There we go. Alpha Ten percent towards uh Wasn't he dangerous when we took him out? He's deadly now. I mean, he kind of leveled up without me noticing. Check again. I was pretty sure it was dangerous when we took him out. <clears throat> okay, dangerous eight percent. No, 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 ah, no, that's his profit share. Ah, yeah, okay, so he is, he is dangerous, but he's ten percent towards deadly. There we go. Okay. Instead of factors, that's not what I want. There we go. <clears throat> Gonna redeem the Terex bounties. And we gotta check the mission board. 18 missions. Yeah, plus two influence. We can do that. There's a wing massacre mission here. We're not gonna be able to do a wing massacre mission though, but for AFK. Huh? 
Howard is living the good life. Oh yeah, he is. Really boring missions, to be honest. We can do that donation mission. Oh, it's like, it was it three influence? Oh, nice. Another three influence. We'll take that. Pay our way to victory. Famine data trans transportation. Because that's what you need in a famine. It's data. <laughs> Go check your foot missions. Wasn't it the landing gear <clears throat> on the Corvette that was pretty broken on uh, on launch? Just gonna see if they fix that. Uh, <clears throat> the shotgun has what seven meters stock. I think it has eleven meters after uh, after it's been upgraded. Yeah, nope, it's still weird. Look at this. None of this is connected here. So the only thing connecting the foot to the rest of the ship is that piston there, that rod there, which looks like it hinges down here, so I have no idea how that would work at only one contact point. In my mind, those there should be connected somehow. I don't know. Still floating landing gear. Well, not really floating. I mean, it is... It's touching, right? But... That just does, doesn't make any sense. And it's really odd because it's like... It's the one thing on the whole ship model that people is going to be interacting the closest with is the landing gear. So if there's any one thing where you should pay extra attention to the small details and that everything is correct, it is the landing gear. Some parts are missing. That's also an option, yeah. At least it's not, a, it doesn't make mechanical sense. Close your eye. That was the weirdest ad ever. Close your eyes, okay? I feel like we're missing something here. Grab the micro super capacitor from a crash site. Grab the memory trip, tri the memory chip from a crash site. Let's just put influence on here. Oh, look at that. We have a whole bunch of influence missions here. These are fun. I take down a specific target. Target is a skill combatant and will be... Be equipped, be prepared. Let's do that. That sounds fun. And now that we are heading to that system anyway, let's take a settlement raid. And then maybe two settlement raids more. While we are out anyway. There we go. That's a nice little collection of missions. I'm not gonna go in the Corvette, and I don't wanna go and pick up the Dolphin, so we're just gonna take a shuttle. 
Welcome to Apex Interstellar, your gateway to the stars. Jesus Christ, people are mad at each other in here. <laughs> what? What's going on? Everybody's fighting, okay. Alright, let's start. I don't know which mission this was, but uh, we're just gonna start with that one. Thank you for choosing Apex Interstellar. Should we just for good measures? I mean there's so many people here, but just for good measures, just gonna quickly. Sure, take a look around. Three suits. All level one. Five weapons. All the other one. You know where to find me. Four faction wars. I. Two factions in a war, like a, two two wars going on in the system, or there's actually four four wars in the system. That is technically possible. So is it four factions in war, or is the four faction wars? I mean, you can technically have eight in a system, and if you're really careful with your BTS, I guess you could four four wars in one system at a time. Yeah, it is right. Hunting upgraded gear is a little addictive. And you, you, uh, it's just, uh, oh, yeah, I just have to go and check. I wouldn't expect there to be anything on this station. I mean, we have a lot of the guys from Terra X who's currently working here. So I would assume if there were anything, people would have picked it up. Full fact the system. Okay, so two walls. Ram him. Ram him. Oh. <laughs> Space. Yes, you're right. We have a discount code. While we're heading out for the first little mission here, um, there's a discount code right now on the merch store. If you go to d2eastore.com and you use the code Howard Rules, you will get 10% off. The code is also in chat, and that code is going to be valid until the end of the live stream. If you want to support the channel, you can also do that either from one-time donations at tip.d2a.com or on Patreon, as uh, Sebastian did earlier today, on patreon.d2a.com. And then finally, of course, if you want to join the channel's community, it is on Discord at discord.d2a.com. We are also currently planning a, uh, or we have, have a planned trip out to the 45T planet um, on the D2A North Star. So if you feel like a little carrier trip, and they're always a ton of fun, there will be in-flight entertainment and it's gonna be over a weekend, gonna fly you out there, we can have a have a laugh, crash into the planet. And then um and then the following day on the Sunday I'll be flying you all back to the bubble again where we came from. Wonderful. But that's all happening on Discord. <laughs> Commander. Commander Bandit says, I always forget my limpets. If only there were a mock to remind you. Oh, what a plot. <laughs> God referring to the never forget your limpets mock at the D2A store.com. <laughs> there we go, 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 go. It's on, on Twitch. What is the in-flight entertainment and will it and will it involve hot tubs? And if not, why not? No, nope, not gonna happen. Do you still prefer the North Star Rock? I like a North Star is a really good one. It was a... Uh, I don't know. I, it has a lot of character. I, I think mine is actually in the dishwasher right now. 
Oh, got a rang of gunslinger. Oh, I should probably check what kind of missions we are here at this settlement here. Drilling. Okay, so we need to find Just Noble Patel. Control, this is Apex 746 requesting docking. For this, I'm going to need my salvage built, I think. Yeah, right, right. We've got to get the uh, the mission, of course, on the on the screen as well. Uh, good layout, I guess. Have a nice day. Sure, I'm just gonna do a little bit of murder. Fine. Okay. Let's go and fight this guy. Sometimes you can be lucky and he's on the settlement grounds. Gotta see if I can find a terminal. right here see if I don't think I have enough uh... no I can't see the staff list uh, he only has security clearance one oh uh, he is on the settlement grounds No, it's that guy over there. Yeah, he, okay, he's already he's pre-shielded. Gotta get a little closer so we can get good shots in on him. Wait for him to stand still. we go team kill nobody heard a thing nobody saw a thing let's just get a cab out of here well we can just go to neighboring planet we have some people need to kill over here as well guys there. Don't want to run into a scan right now. Yeah, with well, the inside, they're a bit of a pain. Let's 
Perfect timing. Mission done. Welcome aboard. So while we are running to the next, we're gonna swap over to our combat gear. <clears throat> because uh, I think the next one is the settlement raid, if I recall correctly. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Look at this. I just wanted to get the bunny cam up so we could say hello to the bunnies while we were flying. Look at that. Cute bunnies. But then I noticed, have you seen the Toby? Through a, uh, I mean, it doesn't look like that. I can barely see the lights. They are just faint, faint red. But when you look at them through a camera on a phone, that's the Toby eye tracker. That's pretty cool. That's Elite. Hello, Elite. And there's you guys. Ooh. Oh, that's a little bit too much. There we go. Sleepy Bunny. And jump back in game. This is how you fight ghosts, too. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know that for sure, Dongle, that they're gonna, that they want to participate in that. Like a damn disco line, yeah. Oh, hold on, can we resend that out? Thank you. See, no loose wires. Never notice those extra little windows up there. A little weird. So, are we actually getting this in the daylight? That would be awfully nice. Let's turn our head tracking off again. While we're coming in for the next destination here, if you haven't done already, I would really appreciate if you would consider to go down and uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, it helps me out a lot. And um, again, there will be plenty of more Elite Dangerous live streams. We're going to be playing a with all the stuff in Update 7. There's like a lot of things to do in Update 7. We're going to be looking at Colonial Engineers. We're going to be looking at the new Conflict Zone changes. We're going to be doing dedicated ship builds for the new Conflict Zones. Um, and there was some other things that I already forgot, but lots of stuff to look at in Update 7. And of course, there's also going to be um, be some Star Citizen live streams. 
coming in the future and videos. I actually have a pretty good video tomorrow, I think. I think you guys will like that, um, where I'm going to explore some Easter eggs and some hidden places in Star Citizen. I think it's pretty good timing now that that there is a, a server wiping coming in Star Citizen. Then it's a good time if you are playing to go out and explore those uh, like secret places that are scattered all across the Stanford system. Which just means that, I mean, I think it's a good thing to spend your time on now because, I mean, there's no point in, in, in grinding for more money at the moment. Well, Marisha Bunny. Just so you know, he'll be arriving shortly. But that video is going to be tomorrow, as I said. And Over. probably also mentioned the Star Citizen, that you can play that for free at the moment. Should be a link in the uh, link in chat. And also, there's a referral code, so you can get uh, get some extra starting credits if you want. But the rest of the missions were just straight up settlement raids, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. So we're just purely settlement raid. So go in, kill everything that moves, and then get out of there again. And next patch is also uh, update 7 is the shuttle redirect, so we can redirect shuttles, which I think is super nice. Okay, we are in our combat suit. Take it easy. Oh, I will. But as always, when we're doing this, instead of trying to sneak around and find people, we're just gonna go in, we're gonna be noisy. And then we're gonna kill everything that comes in our direction. Knock, knock. Anybody home? Apparently not. I heard someone. Here we go. You and me now. Eat this. Close the distance here. One left. Nope, that was it. Shield deactivated. Mm -hmm. What's the next mission? Yes, the shotgun is very effective. And the fact that it's not silent in any way means when you're doing missions like that, you're just attracting so much attention. So you don't have to spend time running around looking for people. God, there's no reason to scan them. Well, we could get a little bit of bounces out of them, I guess, but it's often... A shuttle is moving to your location. It's often very little. Um, we can try to scan some of the next ones, but if I recall, they're not really worth it. Oh. 
Oops. Port, there we go. By the way, if you're interested in this shotgun um, that I'm using, I posted a video about it a few, I think, last week, where I go over why it's so effective and what engineering modifications I've put on it to uh, to make it work the way it is. Um, I am planning to do more videos like that where I go over the um, different engineering options and which I've chosen and why. Um, to enter hyperspace. Just to kind of... Yeah, it helped people along with their engineering choices because since we can't we can't undo our engineering, I think it's important to make the right decision in the first go. <laughs> that you almost crashed the game is the crash site with 9% hull. You don't need more than one, that's fine. Yeah, the stock one is probably not that great, but fully upgraded and with uh, and with some good engineering mods on it. Oh yeah, that's a good gun. There's a lot of credits sloshing around the system. Someone at the top's getting things right for once. I was actually considering if the if the plasma rifle, I thought the DPS, the sheet DPS on it is pretty low, but I have a feeling if we if I don't know, it just seems like the plasma rifle should be a good weapon because. The sniper is good if you can find people unshielded, because then one shot, one kill. A shotgun is good because it has those multiple little plasma balls, and each of them counts as a damage hit. And because you have each of them being a damage hit, that means you can go and you can do damage through shields. Yeah, the oppressor, thank you. However, with the plasma rifle, because of the high rate of fire, you do so little damage on each individual shot that you don't really care much about um, about the over damage on shield. So I have a feeling that the oppressor could be made into a decent weapon if you fully upgrade it. Um, and especially if you try to get some range out of it. The problem of course is the travel time with the plasma shots. going to make it difficult to hit anything at range. But it is relatively fast and if we can get it on target i think it could be a good weapon which crew members do i have i only have howard i got him as a novice i think yeah, he was novice when i got him and now he's been trained up and he's currently deadly and 10% towards... Oh, sorry, he's dangerous and 10% towards deadly. Yeah, maybe using as a burst fire weapon would, uh, would work if we're looking at, at, at range. Talking to, oh, that was just there. Pilot. What is Terra X Astrocorp? Terra X Astrocorp is our in game faction. Um, that uh, our in game BGS faction that we're working for. We have uh, like lots of stuff going on with basically it's like a way for you as you start somewhere else we are like an open faction that means everybody can join there's not like a vetting process or anything that also means all our orders are public and that means everybody's more than welcome to come by we host everything through discord you're more than welcome to come by discord there we have a faction planner he will be going over our bts every day and he'll be posting daily orders so if you don't care about bts and the which is the background simulation then you can just go and you basically just get a list of daily missions you can go and complete. If you are interested in learning BGS, which is a super complex, uh, complex topic, but also super interesting when you get into the nitty gritty details of it, then we have plenty of knowledgeable people who will be more than happy to uh, uh, to share with you, and uh, uh, so you can begin to learn how like how does all that 
work behind the scenes? Why does faction goes into war? Or why does famine happen in a system? Or why do people expand? It is, yeah, but BGS is like the true end game, I would say. This is where, if you really want to get into the, the details of the league, it is complicated because it's undocumented. And a lot of the stuff people find out, they find out through hard trial and error. And everybody has their own tactics and their own theories about how it works and what works and what doesn't. Just gonna get a quick, uh, oh, okay, that's an easy loadout. That's a very small base, isn't it? It's like half a base. They, they forgot half of it. Have a good one. And what we're doing now is just we're completing a few missions so we can get some, uh, some influence. Seven targets. Where on earth are they? I mean... <laughs> hey! Knock knock! <laughs> oh, well, he was actually using that, uh... Oh, he got my shields. Better run away for a bit. Do a reload while we at it. Shields online. Shields back. Oh, oh bad time for a reload. Oh, ouch. Shields online. Wow, I made a bit of a mess out of that one, didn't I? They were surprisingly difficult to take down. <clears throat> not, not to take down, but they... They did a surprising amount of damage, I should say. I try to rule the galaxy, take over the world, brain. <laughs> right to. Yeah, pinky and brain. Yeah, with the PGS stuff, Petrol, who's our uh, faction planner, he's never the brains of the operations. He takes care of all the day-to-day -day stuff, and then sometimes mm -hmm. if there are like large-scale decisions on like do we go east, west, north, south, whatever, then sometimes he will uh, he'll ask me if I have any preferences. <laughs> but in the vast majority of cases, if uh, if he suggests something and he thinks it's the best solution going forward, I have a tendency to agree. I think there are, I mean, there's been a bit, a bit of an explosion in the number of factions in game. Um, so there are pretty much factions for any grouping that you could imagine.
Okay. Target eliminated. All scavengers eliminated. So just one left and we can head back and hand in. Like added to YouTube. <laughs> now to lurk. <laughs> no. Can you still request a faction? Yes, you can. I believe there is like a Google form you use. I can't remember, but they changed it since I uh, since we requested our faction. It was a very different process back then. Maybe there's actually like a actual page now on the home page you use. I don't know. The process around that has changed a lot since we uh, we got our faction. It was a mess back then. Yeah, it's like the crypt crypto was our used to be our faction banner. Uh, well, he technically st he's, he still is, but he's not. He's uh, not that much around um, these days. But I hear he's coming back, so let's hope we get uh, get him back. Also, I mean, having two faction planners is, is preferred. Both of them can uh, can take over um, and not have to have one person do the orders every day. Do you guys think that they will add Earth-like atmospheric landings in Odyssey? I think that is highly unlikely. What I think is more likely we're going to see in Odyssey is stuff like new SRVs, new weapons, um, new types of missions would be my guess. Those kind of things I think is more realistic than we're going to see stuff like that. But... I mean, the, the amount of work they would have to put in. First of all, we still do not have any liquids on the surface of planets. That's a whole thing they have to solve. Like, how does that work? Do you walk? I mean, I guess the spacesuit could handle it, but... Yeah. It would be a logical step to take. I mean... if Okay, if we're going to look at, like, long-term, super long-term oil lead, right? What would be the natural step to go? I mean, obviously, the, the, the short-term steps that we talked about, like SRVs, missions, maybe new ships, new weapons, maybe new types of suits, those kind of things. That's, that's what I would consider short-term, and that's something that we included in Odyssey. But on the broader terms, there are two directions they can go. Either they can keep going down the road they have with Odyssey, and they can expand to more planet types. Maybe gas giants would be a thing, where we could fly into gas giants, there could be things there. New type of mining, maybe in gas giants. What do I know? Um, the other route, of course, is to begin to work towards ship interiors. I personally think of the two that Frontier would be doing in the direction of ship interiors on a very long term, but we are talking years here. This is not something we're going to see this or next year, and probably not in 2022 either, if ever. Yeah, water suits and crafts. Yeah, okay. But it, I mean, one thing is adding water, but that alone is not going to allow us to make water right, to make uh, earth lights. But it could happen. But I think it's more likely they're going to go into ship interior, especially after there was so many people requesting it. I hope that it would have been part of Odyssey, but it obviously was disappointed that it wasn't. Yeah, 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 absolutely, Spider. They're not, they're not going to begin on any... We're not going to see any new suits or weapons or SRVs or anything like that before Odyssey has, has been uh, been prepped for console. 
that is absolutely priority one. That is to get everything smoothed out, get it ready, and get it launched on console. Once it's launched on console, then I think only then are we gonna begin to see new things. Which I actually think is okay. It's a nice move by Frontier if that's the way they're gonna do it. Because that also means, especially okay, especially if they added some new things together with the console launch, so that the console crowd got in and got some new things that we haven't had for like a year or half a year, however long it's gonna be, already um, on PC. So that when when the console release uh, comes out, there's something brand new for them to go and look at as well that nobody else has seen before. Warning. Dangerously low temperature detected. Shield activated. Knock, knock, who's home? Oh, there they are. See if somebody hurt that. That guy did not. yet missing one. Oh, he's here too late for the party oh should we try to scan some of them detected. let's see 2,000 credits Three thousand credits. It's not really worth it. Bounty detected. And I know these are also relatively low skilled NPCs, but Bounty detected. for this to even be worth spending your time going around scanning them, I would say NPCs like that should pay. I would say ten to twenty times how much as they do now. <laughs> oh, it's probably called in. Hold on. Uh, shields all. <laughs> I don't have that much power in this suit. Is that... That was where I landed, right? Have I been in Bundeswehr? I don't know what it is, but it sounds German. A shuttle is moving to your location. Warning. Suit power loss imminent. That's fine. Um Shuttle docked. Ready for boarding. Ah, it's the German army. No. Mainly because I'm not German, so it'd be super weird if I'd been in the German army. Welcome aboard. Make yourself comfortable. Oh, absolutely hype on. Whatever Frontier does, somebody will be upset. <laughs> that, that is just I mean 
You can't please everyone. That's just impossible. And even if... Even if Frontier makes an update that is objectively only good things, there will always be that person sitting saying, oh, but well, it should have been here like half a year ago. I think, yeah, yes, it should. But <laughs> it wasn't. And we have to look forward now. I mean, I definitely understand that a lot of people were upset because of the Odyssey update. Um, but I think it's uh, we need to begin to look forward um, and look at what Odyssey is now because it is a very, very different game than it was just a few months ago. Playing cross the under. Okay. No, no, Dunkle. Even if they add cross play, someone will say, I, I don't care about cross play. I only play PC. Why haven't they spent time on something I care about, like ships or weapons? Or why don't we have ship interiors yet? They could have done that instead. There will be, there will be people like that. I promise you. No matter what they do. So, there will always be people who are upset. And that's why, I don't know if you've been noticing, every time Frontier's done an update, I've been posting these polls on... Um, uh, on my uh, community tab. I will show you this. And I've been keeping track of what people's <clears throat> overall opinion has been of, of, uh, of the Odyssey update pretty much since back in the alpha. And... Uh, to go and grab my spreadsheet of the other screen give me a second here to jump over to the display port there we go wouldn't be a d3a live stream without a spreadsheet wouldn't it be very old brand so here's basically oh hello um Yeah, I'm gonna give it a few days after. So this is basically, as you can see here, I'll zoom in a bit for you. We can see after there was an initial uh, gameplay video, Starport Tour, we had phase one, two, three, four during the alpha. We have launch, and then we had update one, two, five, or one, two, four in quick succession after, so I didn't do anything there. Then I did another check after update five, and after update six, and we're gonna do it okay, after update seven as well. Interesting, I think, is that the neutral part here has been staying relatively stable and the majority of the movements has happened in the uh, in the negative and the, uh, the positive side um and i think the most important thing to notice is that update six was the first time we begin to see a shift in people instead of people becoming more and more negative but it was turning around towards more positive and what's going to be interesting to see is what happens with update seven does this trend continue? Do we continue to see the positive grow or the negative decrease? Um, I don't know. I think the reason why we still have a lot of neutral people here, I think a large portion of it is, is the console crowd. Obviously, they, they won't commit to either being super positive or negative about it yet because they haven't had a chance to play it, which is absolutely understandable. So I think after the console launch that's when we're going to begin to see this large bulk of people in here in the neutral zone they're going to begin to separate out into the positive negative side that's my guess at least take it easy exactly jay Yeah, absolutely. I think also people will understand that people are that it is. It could also just be the fact that a lot of the negative people have just stopped 
paying attention to elite altogether. They just abandon it. Um, that would of course also move the trend towards more positive, since the people who are still sticking like around are probably more positive than they were. I mean, clear numbers on elite is still down to like half what it was. Um, what it was with the uh, um, before Odyssey. Hey, we gotta pick influence. There's another three there. Where would you place myself? Well, that's a good question. Positive or negative? I think... For a long time, I was... I was. I think... Right at the beginning, I was probably... Would place myself in the low positive... Tilting towards negative. But right now, I would definitely say I'm in the positive group. I still think it's going to take Frontier at least a year to fully recover, if they ever going to recover. But if they are, we're not going to see it before in at least a year. And when I mean recover, I mean when we begin to see player numbers. The shipper is weird. When we begin to see player numbers on the same level as we did um, before Odyssey. I think the biggest thing, Odyssey. Uh, so do I. Definitely hope they're gonna recover. But it's not a given. But if they are, it's gonna take time. And it's gonna take consistent good updates from Frontier for people to regain that trust in them. Because that's the main thing I think people lost. It was not necessarily interest. It was the trust. I think it was mainly the fact that Frontier clearly launched something that was not finished and they did it just to please their shareholders rather than to deliver a finished product to the player base. <clears throat> that is, I think, the reason why a lot of people lost, um, lost faith in Frontier. And that takes time to rebuild. And as I said, that's going to take a year. That's my guess. Again, that is with a big caveat. If... If they manage, we'll see. Anyway. But I also think it's important to remember that no matter what other people think about it, if you're having fun in Odyssey, if you enjoy what's there, or having fun in Horizon, if you enjoy what's in Horizon, then absolutely. Don't let anybody tell you that you're doing it wrong just because you enjoy something other people don't. I don't think I'm going to run more missions now. No. Not now. And I think update 7 is going to be a good one. There's some cool stuff in there as we talked about multiple times tonight. <laughs> yeah, the No Man's Sky uh, reference, of course, always is, is like they got a very bad press, very bad launch, and then they actually managed to recover, and it's now a very popular game. Actually, has a significant larger player base than even Elite, um, even before uh, before Odyssey. So they definitely managed to recover and pull in a lot of uh, a lot of people. All right, I should probably put that with a cat. I'm going to say larger player base. That is from Steam numbers. And of course, the Steam numbers are not comparable there. So that's probably not necessarily a true statement when you think about it. Because Steam numbers is one thing. But we, of course, have people playing Elite also on console. We have people playing with the standalone launch. We have people through Epic. And I know you can also get No Man's Sky on other platforms than Steam. But 
I think it's a little bit more spread out on um, um, on Elite than it is on, the, on some of the others. I don't know. So they're not necessarily comparable like that. Anyway, I think it's time to call it for tonight. It's midnight here, so I need to go and sleep so I can go to work tomorrow and write some more code. <laughs> but anyway, I really hope you enjoyed today's live stream. If you are interested in joining TerraX, then go to discord.d2a.com. Go to the Welcome Start Here channel. Read the message from the bot there, and it will guide you through what you have to. Um... If you haven't done already, go down and subscribe to the channel on your way out. We're going to find someone to raid over on Twitch. And also remember, there's still the, the discount code up on the merch store. Um, Howard Rules is the discount code. And I'm going to keep it up for like 10, 15 minutes here after the live stream. So if you haven't placed your order yet, or it's down with the strategy merch, go to d2astore.com. Check out what's there. Jackets like the one I wear, wear right now. And we also have the TRX Astro Cult Mark. Lots of other funny mocks and weird mocks and Elite Dangerous themed mocks. You can go and get those there. So, that's great for today. Let's just quickly go and see if I can find someone to rate on Twitch. Who is streaming Elite today? Twitch, Twitch, Twitch. Let's get rid of all these many, many, many windows. Uh, elite dangerous. Elite dangerous. Just want to see if there's any names that pops out that I know. Don't think there is. Want to find an English speaking channel? <laughs> yeah maybe i was actually looking at there's a guy who also says working on elections so he's also doing some bgs related stuff so maybe that could be um maybe that could be a fun place to put uh, send you guys today Okay, that's gonna be it. Let's gonna start this raid and then um, I'll see you guys next time. There's gonna be some live streams later in the week. I don't know exactly when, but I uh, hope I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll see you.